This dinosaur exhibit called Ultimate Dinosaurs is about dinosaurs that people have not heard about before. They're dinosaurs from the southern hemisphere. About halfway through the age of the dinosaurs, the uh, landmass split apart and dinosaurs evolved differently in North America. And we're familiar with those North American names like T Rex and the such, but we're not familiar with these dinosaurs that evolved in South America, some of which are fairly similar but yet distinct. And this is a little more geared towards children, is that what I understand? Well, we feel that this uh, exhibit is multi-layered, so it's got things for adults and things for children. So it's everything from uh, a lot of information for adults to want, really want to understand about dinosaur, uh, how dinosaurs have, uh, have uh, come to be in many places around the world, but we also have lots of activities for kids to uh, search for things and collect stamps and uh, do things on their own. Uh, there's a lot of fossils in the exhibit and also some uh, spectacular uh, skeletal casts which are made directly from fossils so they are as close as it gets to real also. And then we've also got all kinds of technology in the exhibit. We've got uh, many, many iPads around the exhibit. Some of them are used for our augmented reality functions. And in augmented reality you can actually point the iPads at the dinosaurs and make them come to life. It's a very interactive, yes, absolutely. No, I don't recognize a lot. Yeah. We're on screen, you're seeing uh, the skeletal cast up. So we're bringing it to life, fleshing it out. You can interact with it. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, all the names are foreign because we're so used to hearing people talk about dinosaurs from North America and these are from Africa, South America, Madagascar primarily. There's some information here about, uh, about uh, Antarctica also, but they're all names that we simply haven't heard about. It's not that they, that they just extremely recently discovered, but it's been within the last 20 years. And some of the dinosaurs in South America are even too big to get into this exhibit. We've got some huge ones in here. Some are absolutely too big to get into this exhibit, but they're not too big to get into the Omnimax film. So we have a complimentary Omnimax film, which explores the life of the largest dinosaur that ever lived, Argentinosaurus, which was discovered a fossil recently down in uh, Argentina. The uh, museum center is very uh, well respected for the work that we do in paleontological research. Part of that is the excavation of dinosaur material. And behind me is an illustration of a nearly complete sauropod dinosaur skeleton from Montana that we collected over the course of four years. And we believe it may be only the second known example of this type of dinosaur. Very excited about it.